Hello. So this week we are discussing how to get panoramics, panoramic style imagery with a tilt shift lens. So this is a follow on to my video that I posted just previously all about tilt shift lens and what it's about. So if you don't know what a tilt shift lens is or why you would even want one for architecture photography, check out last week's video in the link above. If not, if you've seen that, follow on and we'll get some panoramics today. Okay, so we've got our tilt shift lens ready. We've got a tripod set up. Next thing to do is we want to capture a panoramic of this building here. This is a staircase in Skull Tolbol in Georgia. So for this scene, I think the best shot selection would actually be to capture a landscape orientation photograph. Because portrait in here is a quite a low ceiling, you know, for the, you know, for the shape of the building, it's a low ceiling. Portrait doesn't hold up well in, in this particular uh, location. It would if you went off to the side of the stairs, but we're tra trying to capture straight on here with this huge hole in the middle of the, where the former banister used to be. So we're going to capture a landscape shot. So the first thing we need to do, and I know it seems confusing, is we're going to put our camera into portrait mode on the tripod. We're going to open up live view so that we can see what we're doing. And once I've got my shot composed, like I've just done there, you've got everything as nice as you'd like it. I've actually selected five brackets. There's no real need, um, other than I'm just covering all my bases. My ISO is nice and low, it's actually at 100 for inside here, and my brackets are set to be one over, zero, and then four brackets from that point under, so zero, minus one, minus two, and minus three. Next thing we need to do is we need to focus. So I'm actually gonna, what I usually do is I use this button here, I press the little search icon that allows me to zoom right into the image. I then use the manual focus front element of the lens to focus and just check that on the back of the screen and make sure that we're nice and sharp at the section that I want. So on this scene, I'm actually gonna go about a third of the way in to make sure that everything is in focus. But I will check by moving the um, position of the, the shirt search tool down to the very front here, just to check that we're gonna be in focus down on the floor in front of me which we should be, and we are. So we're, we're good to go on this shot. Press shoot, two second timer on, remember, to keep things nice and still. And then we're gonna capture that shot. So that's the middle section of our panoramic. Then we're gonna undo the lock tool here, which is up on the top of the lens, and we're gonna shift the lens all the way to the left, and then slightly back a bit to the main line that's drawn here on the lens. I'm going to lock the nut to make sure the lens doesn't shift again. I'm going to zoom in on the stairs at the back and just make sure, recheck my focus because sometimes when you move it, things do change around. And I'm going to reshoot that scene there. So now that's the left side done. So we've got left, middle, and now we just need to do the right. It's quite a bright building, so my, my exposure time is actually quite short, which is good. I'm going to now go to the right hand side. Now we're at the right, make sure that the lens is locked so it doesn't move. And then we're going to shoot that scene. And that's it. That's my three shots. So now when I stitch these together, I'll show you the final results. It actually gives us a six by four ratio image. So lots to choose from, lots of parts of the image to crop. I will show you both the six by four full ratio and the final cropped version on the screen now. So we've seen how to shoot panoramics in the last location with trying to get a landscape orientation photograph to now we're going to look at getting a portrait orientation photograph and it depends on the place you enter you could say that this place suits actually a landscape photography shot as well and i've done so in a previous location video but i'm going to capture now a portrait 
a, a panoramic portrait using three brackets on my camera. So let's do that now. Hello. The first thing that I've done is I've actually set up my shot. This is the middle shot here. I've got this ready to go and I've got three brackets set up, two, you know, two stops of light apart. I'm on F8, ISO uh, 50, so the lowest possible setting. It could be 100, depends on the light. We've got no horrible spotlights in here, so that helps us. But one of the things that I really want to highlight, this could be just a nice shot, but I think it needs a bit of foreground and it also needs to highlight some of that dome. We can do that by making a portrait orientation shot, as I said. So, let's capture the middle shot. So we've captured the mid middle shot, nice and easy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the lens, I'm going to pull it to the top. Not to the very top, because it will be slightly you know, less um, sharp at the very, very top, but I'm going to just nip it into there. And then we're going to just check our focus again, but we're going to leave all the other settings alone. Like I said previously, the lens has got bends in it, and those bends don't always uh, join seamlessly. Uh, they do let little light leaks in and that means that the camera's meter gets tricked. You don't need to worry about that though, so we just carry on shooting, not a problem. Leave the settings as they are. We've now got the top shot. So, so far we've got the middle and the top and now we're going to do the bottom. I'm not going to go right to the bottom on this one, not just because of the lens would not work in its kindest manner, but also because I feel like some of the best foreground, I want to be able to make sure I get some of these rocks and that's going to be the, the foreground of the image and it's going to be just there like that. Same settings, nothing else has changed, but I am going to just use the little search icon again, the little zoom icon, just to check my focus using the manual focus on the front and then that's it, everything done. That's the bottom, yeah, bottom brackets. So there's three brackets, so we've got three on the top, three in the middle and three on the bottom. And now we're going to combine them in post and show you the final result as well as the cropped editing version. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please join me next time when we look at the third and final part in my Tilt Shift series, a little mini series I'm doing here on YouTube, all about the Tilt Shift lens in architecture photography. So yeah, thank you. Leave any comments or any questions if I've missed anything in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, all that really good stuff. It helps to support the channel. Okay, so I'll see you very soon with more content from here in Georgia. Nakwam Dis, Gamma Jos.